Hey everyone, today we are checking out the Gretsch G5700 Electromatic Lap Steel in this great new Broadway Jade finish. We're going to start off with some tone here, then we're going to talk about it a little bit and then hear a little more of what this can do. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy. So this is obviously a little bit different than what I usually do, generally being uh, guitar reviews and things. And this is just super stunning. I absolutely love it. In fact, I've been wanting one of the Gretsch Electromatic Lap Steels for quite a while, and I was really excited that they came out with the new finishes. Before they had a Sunburst and a, an Ebony finish, and then they added a few new finishes, including this one, which I just think looks awesome, and it really suits the style. It has this unique art deco kind of styling which suits uh, not only the instrument but Gretsch as well. It, I think it's really kind of fitting. It's a very straightforward no frills but great tone lap steel. It's got one Gretsch single coil pickup with a volume and a tone. It's a 22 and a half inch scale length and it, it just sounds great. I, you know, I have another lap steel that has two pickups with uh, two different knobs, including a blend and, uh, you know, switch. And I, just always, I always think with that, it's a little too much. I think if you get a lap steel with the pickup in the right place, that's all you need. It's kind of my opinion on it. And, you know, I'm certainly not of that opinion necessarily with guitars, but with a lap steel, I kind of like that they do what they do. And this just gets a great tone. Now, as you heard, it gets a great tone overdriven too. So don't think of this as just a country machine. Remember, David Gilmore has done some pretty famous stuff with this style of instrument, including his solo on High Hopes off of the Division Bell. These can be used for really awesome tones and you know for a lot of it i have it tuned to open e but also experimenting with other tunings but you know open e or open g just like what you would play slide on a guitar but with the dynamics of it and with not being able to fret anything uh it gives you this more open deeper kind of sound is is a different kind of resonance to it now it resonates very well just here too it's just a lot of fun. It's a great instrument. It can definitely open up kind of new worlds. This is something that I'm excited about because I'm going to use it for recording a lot. So you're seeing this in the video today, but you also see this coming up from me in the songs that I'm doing because, again, it just adds a new dimension, a new vibe. And it, it's really good for guitar players, I think, to expand, especially if you play slide, open up your horizons a little bit and kind of try new things. Now, I'm not uh, anywhere close to being an expert or master player of this. So I'm just kind of sharing with you the little bits that I can do on it. But again, I, I think it's really great for a lot of players who are looking for something different, kind of trying to think outside the box and don't know where to go with it. I do want to mention that this is my first review in collaboration with Gretsch. And I want to say thank you to Gretsch for sending this. I'm very excited about that. Those of you that follow my channel know that since about 2019, I've been a Wicked Gretsch fanboy since then. I really got into Gretsch, and when I got into Gretsch, I got into Gretsch big time. So this is one that I'm just really excited about. Now, you've already heard it overdriven. Now we're going to switch back to going clean, and we're going to go first on open E, and then I'm going to switch it to a six tuning. A traditional old country and Hawaiian music, one of the common tunings is C6. Now, I don't have it tuned down to C6 because I don't have heavy enough strings on it for C6, but I have it tuned to E6. So it's the same idea, uh, just uh, basically what the tuning is, is you have a major triad on these strings, and then the relative minor triad 
on these strings and it gives you that really unique tone again that you know for me I always think of it regards to Hawaiian music and it just sounds phenomenal you play that clean with some reverb and it's just really cool it's like it's like you're transported into a different world of music today I'm plugging into a Fender Blues Junior 4 please let us know do you play lap steel have you tried the Gretsch Electromatic I'm Jack Fawcett remember to like share and subscribe and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video